Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. Now let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what messages come through. So in this reading, I see here that this karmic person is um, acting. Uh, there's a lot of things that they're doing in this reading. Um, I see here they're turning their back on Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine thought everything is good. Divine Masculine is trying to um, look like everything is normal. Uh, I see here like they're, they're laughing, they're smiling. This is in a public setting. So... What I, what I see is something about this karmic person, the way that they react or, or their behavior. So, this has to do with when this masculine goes out in public with this karmic person, when they're like talking in conversation, when this karmic person reacts or they get upset or they make faces or something like that, uh, this masculine... They notice that it draws attention to them and masculine starts to put on a smiley face. I see here they're like as if they're posing or or like posing for a photo. There's something like that. It's like uh, putting on, they put on their own act. So it's like poker face or put on their own act, meaning that they either don't show any kind of emotion or they put a smile on their face and pretend like everything's fine. So imagine like these two are walking together in like they enter this mall, like they go through the front entrance and then they're just talking and all of a sudden this comic person starts yelling. Masculine looks around and sees people are staring at them and then just masculine's like, ha, ah, you know, like it's okay, you know, like the way that they're reacting is as if it's not a big deal or they're just, they don't want it to look like some kind of disagreement or huge argument so but this kind of person doesn't care like i see here that they continue to walk off and do things that draws attention to both of them so basically this comic person creates a scene it happens often so this masculine hesitates to take them out or to go out with them but this Karmic person insists that masculine takes them out. It's like they want this masculine to take them out. Take me out to, you know, to eat. You know, let, let's go to eat. Let's go to the mall. I need to do some shopping. Let's go to this event. Let's go and visit this person. But masculine doesn't want to do these things because they know that every time this happens, meaning that every time they take them somewhere, there's always some kind of reaction or some kind of drama, basically. And this karmic person, they feel very, it makes them feel very powerful. I see here, makes them feel very powerful because they, one, they get the attention. So not only from the public, but it's like masculine, masculine um, tries their best to calm this karmic person down like to kind of like pamper them to calm them down to nurture them it's like it's okay you know like so they like that they like that attention and i see here that it's not a first time thing this karmic person does it very often masculine has started to take it as that's part of their personality that's part of them that's who they are so i need to just accept it but then at the same time they want to avoid it so they're not doing anything to kind of solve that that situation or problem like to prevent it from happening it's like they're not even thinking about that it's like they accepted that that's the person's behavior and they might see it as in the beginning okay i'm gonna say this because this is what i'm getting here i see that this in the beginning this masculine thought it was cute they thought it was cute and, and adorable the way that they used to get upset or the way that they used to stop talking or their expression on their face or the way that they used to roll their eyes at Divine Masculine. They, they saw it as something that was um, attractive, that this person has this side to them that it's like part of, it feels like a challenge or a little bit of like a chase, right? 
But now it's come to the point where it's a little bit out of hand. And Masculine's like, I don't want to de deal with this. I don't want to go in public with this karmic person knowing that they're going to create a scene. And I don't know if I can handle it anymore. And it looks like some sort of tantrum. Masculine does get embarrassed a lot in public with this karmic person, even just doing grocery shopping. I see here things that have to do with the house, daily routines, um, going out um, to to buy things for the home. So this does include like, you know, food, things that are needed. So um, rather than just the wants, right? There's things that that are needed on a daily basis like when this mask goes out to like buy milk for example or buy fruits or bread to make sandwiches for work like these things are masculine feels are important but it's like why can't i just do it myself but no this karmic person's like no you take me along with you and masculine's hesitant to do these like regular type things it's like i don't want to go to the grocery store with the karmic person and another thing is, this kind of person gets what they want, but they don't want masculine to get what they want. It's like they don't want masculine to choose anything for themselves. I see here most of the stuff is coming for this karmic person. Like they decide, okay, should we get red apples or green apples? And this karmic person is like, I want the green apples. I don't like red apples. And masculine's like, I like the red apples. But it's like apple is an apple. Just eat the green apple. But like, why can't you eat a red apple? Right? So these are the things that I see here that there's some sort of division here when it comes to getting things for each other. Like that includes like going grocery shopping. I see your food. I do see food here like vegetables, vegetables, fruits, that kind of thing. Even like the, I mean like those are the healthy things. Like even that creates, like this karmic person creates drama over that. And there's something about water here too. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to explain what I see here about water. This kar karmic person complains to Divine Masculine that they use up all the hot water. I see here that they they put some kind of limit to the water use. Even like when they're making tea, it's like don't, like tea or coffee, it's like don't use all the hot water. Use cold water. Yeah, hot water a lot having to do with like, don't use it. I need to, you use up all the hot water. I want to have like this nice bath, but then you used up all the hot water. Masculine doesn't want to invite anybody to the house because if this ma if this karmic person does this in public, it's like, I don't want people to know what's going on indoors. Like, forget about outdoors. What about indoors? Like, at home, behind closed doors. It's like, this masculine doesn't want people to see, like, the, the picky side of this karmic person. This karmic is very picky. And it's not, it. I don't think this person is like that, meaning, like, if masculine wasn't around, I don't think they would be like that. But there's something about liking to make the decisions for both of them all the time. So if this karmic kind of person was on their own, right, living on their own, they would just grab any dish to, you know, set the table, right? But when it comes to this divine masculine, this karmic person's like, no, why are you taking out th those dishes, the white ones? I want the blue ones. Right? So there's something about always making the decisions, always choosing what they feel is, is best for them. Even if it doesn't matter, but in that moment, they feel like that, that there's something about their decision is more important. A masculine doesn't want to get embarrassed. They see here that no visitors allowed no visitors come over no visitors come by or visit them these two they live together it shows clearly that these two are living together so they they don't have to be married or anything like that but i do see here that they are um they are a couple they live under the same roof 
but masculine feels like it's not even their place because of the the eh. I'm getting like the rules that are set in place. That's what I'm getting here. Ugh. Something about rules set in place. So no wonder this the divine masculine doesn't feel like they're at home. It's like they feel like they are just like a visitor. It's like I'll just listen to whatever this karmic person has to say. They feel like, and it, it could be because this karmic person has um, a lot of say because of their financial situation or maybe that's the karmic person's house, right? Like their name is on the documents, meaning that they own that property or they're the ones paying the rent, whatever the case may be. I see here that this Divine Masculine, uh, they try sometimes to do a little bit better for themselves financially. And every time they try to make a decision or move forward, this karmic person finds out about it and they don't want this Divine Masculine to, to uh, do anything or to, to try anything different. In fear of like they might lose that, that grip of like having that a lot of the say or having uh, control over a situation. Uh, again, I see your Divine Masculine trying their best to work hard to um, build themselves, to move forward, to grow, to find some sort of strength, so strength independently. But this karmic person is always like, um, there's some sort of argument that follows that. So if Divine Masculine goes out for an interview and this karm karmic person knows about it, and I feel like Masculine is very honest in this reading. They share a lot of stuff with this person. But if Divine Masculine doesn't share certain things, this karmic person eventually finds out because I see her that they come to know about stuff. Oh, you know how they know about stuff? There's somebody who's letting them know what's going on. So this karmic person asks certain people that, that may know details about what masculine is doing. So it could be like a friend, a very close friend or a very close family member. But this karmic person has a way of doing it. It's like they're very, um, not only clever, but very talented in how they receive or obtain information from others. They come across as very friendly, who is curious or act as if they already know what's going on so that they can get more information from somebody who actually knows what's happening. So this is a reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.